Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Attention Discord server owners and admins. Are you tired of worrying about the security of your account or server? Fear not, because we've got you covered. In this extensive guide for 2024, we will demonstrate how to enable two-factor authentication in your Discord by adding an extra layer of security you will not have to worry anymore so guys let's get started so before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information so guys in this specific video we are going to talk about the two-factor authenticator on your discord account so if we talked about the server we are basically talking about accounts why because server can't be deleted or roles can't be given to someone rooms can't be deleted or created or anything in the server can't be uh, can't get into the access into it without the account of the admin so to make a security level or to add another layer of security to your discord server then you have to add another layer of security to your discord account so in this video we are going to talk about that now the first thing is to go to your user and here you will find all the details about your account and as you can see here you will have your account name uh, email uh, phone if there is any phone that has to be connected and other stuff that might be interesting to add after that here into the bottom you'll find password and authentication you will have here multi-factor authentication enabled so for me i have to remove authentication app so i can explain to you exactly how to actually use it because i have already used the authentication app uh, it is a very very essential thing in all my account to actually have it turned on the authenticator app is very very, very useful as I said because you will have no longer to worry about your accounts even now I'm showing you like the password and you're not even worried why because this account or this password will just change like after three seconds so three two one the password will be changed now in this video as I said we're going to talk about the enabling of the authentication app so here um, something again I have to put my password so it, this is what it's gotta do you have to put your password so let's do that real quick um, let me just add the password real quick and I'll give it right back and as you can see guys right here I have my account in here so basically now all I need to do is to simply connect to this page and simply to paste my QR code that will be in this area so I have blue read this guide for you but for me I'm gonna just keep but I'm just trying to explain to you so here there will be like a QR code that you can scan it or in case you would like to actually add it manually simply have to copy the 2FA key code that will be on this page as well so I have blurred this page just for the credentials to be safe for my parts now of course you have to do another thing which is on your part from your mobile you have to download one of the uh, authentication app so there is a lot of authenticator app that you can download there's for example Authy and there's the Google Authenticator so these are both an apps that you can usually use so for example here let me just open my browser here okay there we go so yeah here these are basically uh, let's search for discord does it accept Discord? Yep, it accepts Discord, so this is good. Uh, you can look for other authenticator apps. If you trust, for example, Microsoft Authenticator, then of course you can use the authenticator app of Microsoft. Uh, but guys, trust me with that you don't have to use different authenticator for each app just stick to one app where you have all the authentication that you can uh, for your account so with that you have everything collected in one place if you for example manage to put in many uh, authenticator app that will make you lose and will eventually make you lose the password and the tracking of your accounts so this is why make sure to either use the microsoft or the google authenticator do not use any other apps for example dio or anything else like that i'm in highly i'm highly recommending these two because uh of course 
Google and Microsoft are the most trustworthy companies in the world. They are well known in the world. Um, they have highly level security and they are well known on the domain in the security. So if you do not trust them, there is nothing else that you can trust. So this is why I'm highly recommending one of these two apps. So once you download these two apps, all you need to do is two ways. Either click on the plus button and add the uh the code manually which is going to be the code of the qr code which will be eventually uh given to you like that in the screen and there is the 2fa key which will be given to you manually so you simply have to copy it and paste it in your authenticator app so these are the main ways to actually manage to add your authenticator account or to your, your account on discord or any other account any other platform to the authenticator app and once you're finished with that you simply have to add here the uh like in the this screen itself so here we have like a place where we can put the code so in the screen itself i'm gonna write the code that i will receive in my authenticator app and click on activate and normally it should be activated so these are the ways to actually do that so for me here let me just edit and so set up key I was just scan it, to be honest so there we go i'm gonna scan it and yeah there we have it so the code is right there and let's click on activate and as you can see congratulations you have activated it successfully so now you can download backup codes in case you would like to have them so there we go add your phone as a backup mfa method in case you lose access to your authenticator app or backup codes and download backup codes so without your backup codes you are at the risk of losing your account permanently if you lose access to your authenticator save this somewhere safe on uh, on and off uh, your device to reduce the risk of of losing your accounts so these are the ways to actually highly boost your codes in discord of course the codes are going to be mentioned here in the bottom so continue that backup i'm sure so these are the codes that can be yours you can simply select them or generate new ones in case you would like to have new backup codes so each code can only be used once as you can see so once you click on generate new backup codes new backup codes will be generated and these ones will be no longer available for you to be used so these codes have to be always uh, mentioned or remembered in your account or saved in somewhere in your files or PC or anywhere and with that your account on Discord is safe and if your account on Discord is safe then your server on Discord is also safe hundred percent so yeah guys this is how you can add a two-factor authentication to your discord server i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial bye, -bye.